and Washington, face coverings are required inside businesses and indoor public spaces. But for businesses, it comes with some big challenges when it comes to enforcing face masks. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Dan Tilkin. The governors have outlined the guidelines. Well, tonight, our Jacqueline Abad is going beyond the headlines, speaking with business owners and employees who are stuck in the middle when it comes to enforcing it. Jacqueline. Jeff, Dan, well, today I spoke with numerous businesses. They tell me that while most people are wearing face coverings inside, there are some people who are refusing to, wearing, to wear face coverings, and it's putting these businesses in tough situations. It's a touchy topic, and many businesses that I spoke with today didn't want to go on the record. But today I did speak with a local coffee shop here in Beaverton, um, Ava Rosturia, a local coffee shop with a few locations in Beaverton, like Oswego and Hillsboro. They tell me they're having have been certain occasions when customers just simply don't want to wear a mask. So they've had to remind customers about the state mandate to wear a face covering inside. You'll remember there are some exceptions for people with medical conditions and children under the age of two. Oregon OSHA expects businesses to follow certain measures to implement the requirement or businesses can be cited. We want everyone to have a good customer experience when they come in. Um, that's, you know, number one for us. But at the same time, on top of that is is maintaining safety and you know making sure that we're doing our part so if a customer doesn't you know wear a face mask refuses to wear a face mask we ask them kindly to leave OSHA advises businesses if someone refuses to wear any type of face covering and they don't have a medical condition to politely ask them to leave. Ava Rosteria has other options for customers if they don't want to wear a mask, like offering call in orders and mobile delivering services like Uber Eats. OSHA also tells me over the 4th of July weekend they received about 750 complaints. Most of those complaints were related to face covering. Requirements. Reporting live in downtown Beaverton, Jacqueline Abad, Coin Six News. Jacqueline, thank you. And